I, Andrew. I, Andrew. Take you, Kirby. Take you, Kirby. To be my wife. To be my wife. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Talking like we used to do. It was always me and you. Let me start off by saying what a beautiful wedding this is. And uh, speaking of beautiful, how gorgeous does the bride look tonight? You like walking in the rain. You don't think a lot. Drew, you, think you are one lucky son of a trish. You can tell me what you see. I will choose what I believe. You're smart, you're passionate, and driven. You know what you want and you always have a plan to get it. Tough enough to deal with two older brothers who can sometimes be a little difficult. If there's truly a perfect match for anyone out there, uh, I'm positive you're the perfect match for Drew. I look at Andrew and I see a young man who is smart, handsome and athletic. I loved having a, a little brother and family and he instantly became my little buddy. I wanted to take him under my wing and teach him all the things I knew to make him awesome. I knocked him down a lot. But, but it made you tougher. The reason that I'm hanging on You know you gave me He also has a good work ethic, and I feel confident that he will love and support Kirby. I never thought I would say this about anyone, but I almost like this guy. Andrew, we welcome you into the family. This mess was yours. Now your mess is mine. You have brought so much joy, not only to Kirby's life, but to our entire family. I'm so happy I'm able to call you. <laughs> Kirby, you look absolutely stunning. And Andrew, you look as handsome as ever. I've never met anyone who doesn't love the guy. And I think that's pretty evident as you look around this room and see all the friends and family that are here today. And I, Kirby. I, Kirby. Take you, Andrew. Take you, Andrew. To be my husband. To be my husband. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. What God has joined, man must not divide. Amen. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. found someone who supports you, inspires you, challenges you, and makes you a better person in every possible way. But you were smart enough to realize when you find that person, you can never let her go. You're everything he needs, and I know he'll spend the rest of his life constantly working to be the husband you deserve. It's easier to share the burdens of life and more fulfilling to experience the joys of life together with someone you love. We all hope you have a long, happy, fruitful life. From the moment you and Kirby met, I've loved you like a brother. I knew you were the one for Kirby right from the start. It stood out to me when she was very young how she showed feelings of concern for her little sister, big brother, mom and dad, and Riley. 
She was an excellent swimmer. Kirby swam the Strait of Gibraltar. She was the 501st woman to attain this achievement. He has a big heart and always does the right thing. But I think it's safe to say the best decision he's ever made is sitting right next to him today. I'd like to start by thanking everyone for coming out here to celebrate Kirby and Andrew tonight. The love and happiness that you two exude truly consumes this room. Everyone, please join me in raising your glass and toasting to the new Mr. and Mrs. Cabry. Kirby, your mom and I, Stephen and Tracy, love you and wish you happiness in this new stage of your life. We love you. We look forward to sharing special moments in Kirby's and Andrew's life with them. We have found them to be warm, welcoming, and family-oriented. I see they've passed those qualities down to their son, Andrew. May the two of you enjoy a lifetime of health, happiness, and love. Drew, we love you. Kirby, we love you and welcome to the family. Cheers. Turn around your back on each other.